Well, I'm here with Jason Wood, and we've been discussing the government's $130 million investment into the National Anti-Gang Squad. And Jason was one of the architects of this. He's done a lot of work around the best way to tackle all of the gang violence in Australia. And I'm very proud of the fact that the Federal Police, along with the Victorian Police and other state and territory law enforcement agencies, have now been able to arrest almost 1,300 people on 4,000 charges. We want to make sure that communities are safe. We've been able to manage the economy well so that we can make this investment a very important investment. So, Jason, for your community and for Victoria, what, what will this mean? Well, this is a fantastic announcement. I go back to 2007 where I met up with the FBI and LAPD and they told me right back then, the best way to take on violent gangs, whether it be an organised crime group or an outlaw motorcycle gun, or even youth gangs, is a joint partnership with the Commonwealth or in their case, the federal authorities dealing with the states. And the simple reason is that their focus is to get the two agencies with all the resources and all the skills together to not only take on, as I said, those serious crime groups, but also those violent youth gangs. And the simple reason is those violent youth gangs can cause so much fear in the community. Why there's no leadership, they're spontaneous, they can be driving down the street, as we've seen in my suburbs of, say, Beaconsville, Berwick and Packham and Narry Warren, and they can just target a house for a home invasion or a carjacking. So we need that extra focus, and I'm absolutely wrapped now. We can have the NAGS task force actually dealing with violent youth gangs anywhere in Melbourne, whether it be in the southeast or in the western suburbs. This is fantastic for Victoria. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jason. Cheers, mate. Thank you.